Menachem, some of my friends who are rather well-known scientists uh, tell me that uh, there is value in philosophy uh, in that some philosophers can keep the bad philosophers away from science. And that's pretty much the only value of philosophy uh, 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 th that other than that, just leave us alone, we'll do our work much better. Uh, and that uh, basically philosophy has no value to science whatsoever. You fundamentally disagree with that, and I'd like to understand why. Well, I, I, I'm a philosopher of science, but I'm not employed by, by science to, uh, um, to philosophize about it. My, my own motivations, and this, this is personal, my own motiv motivations for um, you know, focusing my philosophical efforts on understanding science, not teaching the scientists what to do or where they're wrong or how they could be better scientists. I'm, I'm, I'm not an umpire uh, in the scientific game at all. But I, I think I, I, have, I have three reasons. The first reason is that science is worthy of study because it's a linchpin. It's, 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 it's a major major component, if not the major component, of Western civilization, sure. at least since, since the 17th century. Science is in the business of explaining. Science is in the business of testing. Science is the, is the business of reflecting and deliberating. Now, all of these things we do as humans in our day-to-day -day lives, but, but science gives us such uh, um, uh, uh, good examples, paradigmatic examples, if I can use the term. Uh, so by, by studying the way in which science thinks, the way in which it makes its decisions, the, the, the products it produces in practice and in knowledge and so on and so forth, is to a great extent looking Western humankind, uh, Western modern uh, humankind, uh, in the mirror or in the eye in, in a deep sense. That would be my first motivation. The second motivation is the great mystery of science. The great mystery of science. Science operates in conditions of fascinating hubris. Okay? The amount of information that happens to fall in the vicinity of our little speck of a planet within the universe. And here they are telling us stories about everything beyond mm -hmm. the, first, the first few seconds of the Big Bang. And they understand, and, and convincingly so, convincingly so. Now, in artistic expression, for example, um, I remember André Segovia, Segovia uh, wrote on the first album of his, of his great students, guitar uh, uh, variations, um, John Williams, God has touched his forehead with his finger. Okay, now when it comes to works of art, the mystery of the achievement, the way in which with, with, with colors and, and brushes that you and I could, could barely dirty ourselves on the walls with, they create, you know, see, you can hear the birds chirp. Mm. It's unbelievable. So this hubris, this, this, this enormous uh, um, uh, ability of, of, of shedding the constraints of the materials you're working with and create, is in art regarded as a God-given mm -hmm. gift. But in science, physicists say, come study with us for four years or five years and we'll show you how the trick is. This is the great mystery of science and philosophy of science uh, I think is the place in which to reflect on 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 the enormity of the achievement, mm -hmm. despite um, the, God knows mm -hmm. how they do it. And the third motivation is the great failure of science. Um, from the 17th century on, um, science took over, in a, in, a, in a sense, in Western society from religion, claiming to be the place of rationality and you know, de detached, detached human consideration. Uh, we can argue things out. It's discursive and so on and so forth. And, and, and science, the, in, the, the place of science in the Enlightenment created great hopes of a rational 
reasonable, just, liberal mm. humankind. And we have just stepped out of the 20th century, which boasts the most barbaric half century in the history of Western culture, with science aiding the sides uh, in, this gra in the grand slaughter. So how come the Enlightenment values of science um, uh, uh, have, have, have failed us in such a way? This is another motivation um, uh, to study the, 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 you know, the pretensions of science, the type of knowledge it produces, what it can boast, what it can't boast, and its place in our society and culture. In, in, in an ideal world, if you'd project forward, uh, however many years, the end of your career, uh, what would you look to be uh, emblematic of success in all three of those? Understanding. Understanding. Looking at science and understanding ourselves better, looking at science and understanding the mystery of human creation better, and looking at science and understanding the limits of enlightenment pretension um, uh, for a more sober, epistemic, uh, uh, humble mm -hmm. enlightenment.